okay. You know when I hit a car in a parking lot? Because then it's a moral dilemma. What's up, carpoolers? It is back. And we are in entertainment news becoming news effect. Okay, 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 okay. All anyone's talking about is David Letterman's beard and how big it is and how bad he looks. He finally gets to retire and get some time to himself, grows a big long beard, because he could probably never grow a beard like that while he was on The Late Show, and now everyone's freaking out. Are people that annoyed that there is so much important stuff happening in the world that they've got to focus on stuff that is so unimportant that they can't let go of it? Like, are they just using this? as a distraction so they don't have to think about all the actual bad shit that's going on right now? See, if anything, you should just file this under entertainment news, which is a phrase that quite frankly <laughs> makes no sense whatsoever. Entertainment news is for people who don't really care about what's going on in the world or their brain capacity just doesn't want to deal with real problems, so they focus on entertainment news where they get to know what movie's coming out, or who's having a feud with who, who's getting married, who's getting divorced, and they think that they're absorbing news in, from the world. But you're not absorbing anything, you stupid idiot. You're absorbing garbage. Entertainment noise is what you're getting. The lowest common denominator of news is entertainment news. It's like the guy only watches like Sports Center, and he calls that the news. It's, like, it's not the news, man. That's just like superfluous stuff, which I don't think that was a word, just to keep your mind off the real problems. Like watching guys play sports, you're just watching other guys do their job. It's like if you, if you got a bunch of accountants together and they all accounted against each other. Man, see Johnson last week? Yeah, but Herb is really gonna wipe the floor with him this week. He got a brand new calculator. What? And slowly but surely, entertainment news is losing the entertainment and slowly seeping itself into news. I get it when special interest news is like, you know, the last five minutes, uh, that was how the dog helped the cat get out of the bird cage. <laughs> Happy little thing at the end, just so you're like, oh, okay. Okay, it's not all bad, I guess. The sports and the special interest news was like the little prize at the end of the news. So you sit through the regular news to get to the sports and the special interest, but all that other's news would get into your brain, so you'd still know what's going on in the world. But now it's like, no, we just took sports and made it an hour. We should just sprinkle everything with something happy, because if you give people too much to think about, then they start thinking for themselves. And that's where the real problem is. If everybody realized that David Letterman's beard wasn't the top story of the week in real life, I think we'd all be better off as a peoples. So what do you think, carpoolers? Do you prefer special interest news and entertainment news over regular news? Or do you also try to pepper in the real stuff somewhere? Let me know down in the squawk box. Also, please like, please subscribe. Check out the anti-social media. And always remember to check your mirrors.